you. My father, barely 18, fought in World War II. A nice Jewish boy who was determined to do all he could to wipe out Hitler and hatred. He was badly hurt doing his bit. He never really recovered from those physical and emotional wounds. It doesn't take much digging to find the immigrants in my family, people who fled the horrors of bigotry in Russia, Germany, and Poland. I was always taught and have always seen my Judaism and my humanity as a calling to work for justice. I have just been through the death of one of the finest human beings I've ever known. I was honored to share his last months with his ever-present sisters and extended family. I have never seen any greater devotion, respect, intelligence, and love. They are from Texas, Mississippi, Alabama, and Washington, D.C. They are African Americans. They were hurt by this country, and they love it. My friend attended segregated schools in Mississippi. He went on to become a brilliant public interest lawyer and ordained minister. He ministered to people of all backgrounds. He advocated for the rights of older people and peace, people with disabilities, all people of older people and people with disabilities. Now, one week after his funeral, Nazis, white supremacists, and fellow travelers have spewed hatred, racial bias, and violence on our country. They carried signs and yelled, Jews will not replace us. And our president, he suggested the counter-protesters, like this group here, were equally responsible. We're equally responsible. That is not true. Martita, that is not true. To suggest that it is, it's like suggesting the few Jews in Warsaw who rose up against the Nazis were as responsible as Hitler and his followers. They were not. We are here to cry out, to take our country back for people who care for one another, not just regardless of our different backgrounds, skin color, religion, sexual and gender identity, but in honor and love of those differences. scream out against what is happening in our country just seven short months after our first African American left office. We are here to announce loud and clear, we stand against white supremacy, against prejudice, against fear, against bigotry. We are here to bell out for all humans who stand for one another. We are here because we know we are one human community. During World War II, one of the Protestant ministers in Germany who opposed the Nazis was Martin Niemöller. For speaking out against Nazi policies, Martin Niemöller was arrested in prisons and sent to concentration camps. He managed somehow to remain alive to the end of the war. Afterwards, he explained his actions. First, they came for the Jews. I was silent. I was not a Jew. Then they came for the communists. I was silent. I was not a communist. Then they came for the trade unionists. I was silent. I was not a trade unionist. Then they came for me. There was no one left to speak for me. Thank you.